In this morning's Business Insight, last week the Business Courier announced its latest class of 40 under 40 honorees, young professionals who are making an impact in our community. The Courier likes to stay in touch with past honorees, and this morning we are pleased to have with us Brendan Cull. Cull is Chief Operating Officer at the Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber. He's been on the job nearly six months, joining the Chamber from Kroger, where he served as Senior Director of Government Relations and Regulatory Affairs. Brendan is with Business Courier publisher Jamie Smith in the studio. Brendan and Jamie. Thanks, Peg. Brendan, thanks, thanks for Jamie. being here. So you've been on the job almost six months as COO, and you've already moved Oktoberfest. <laughs> That's exactly right. That's a, we've done a lot more than that, too, but we did move Oktoberfest. If you want to start there, I'm happy to talk about it. Yeah, let's do it. Um, you know, there's a terrific team of people at the chamber, and we gave them what, for a, for a lot of people, would be an impossible task, which was to re-envision Oktoberfest so that we could grow and make it an even better festival uh, in the region. It's already a marquee event. And so they, we have been on uh, Fifth Street for almost 40 years, so we're going to celebrate our 40th anniversary on Two Street which allows for an even bigger party. It'll be on 2nd and 3rd Street between Elm and Walnut, and it is an amazing site. Yeah, I think it's going to be great down there, and I think, you know, the increased amount of parking down there with the stadiums, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. There's four Reds games that weekend. There's a doubleheader on Saturday, so people can come down to the Reds game, come drink a beer at Oktoberfest, have a bratwurst and a pretzel. It, it'll be a great weekend. Well, hopefully the attendance that you guys have might help the Reds, too. Well, so. I think we'll hopefully help <laughs> each other. I mean, it's just a, it's a, it'll be a highlight weekend for yeah. Cincinnati. Well, let's talk about, you know, moving forward in your role. Obviously, there's been a lot of change at the Chamber. I know there's some uh, some emphasis being put on talent. Can you talk a little bit about what that is? Yeah, we're talking a lot about talent right now because we talk to our employers who are members, and what they're looking for are new ways to attract and retain the best talent in the region. Um, you and I know we both participated in Leadership Cincinnati Class 36, That's which right. was the best, best, class, class, ever. best <laughs> class ever. Um, uh, Leadership Cincinnati is getting ready to announce their 40th class this year. Uh, Dan Hurley retired earlier in the year after nine years of tremendous service to the chamber and we're so excited that Amy Thompson joined the chamber. She had been the executive director of Camp Joy. She's now leading leadership and Cincinnati. She was a member of, was it the last class? She was class, okay? class 34, okay. I think, yeah. is right. Um, and she's just has a terrific energy and terrific uh, way of thinking about the region and solving problems in the region. So I think in terms of retaining great talent, our leadership programs are premier. We also just recently hired Jordan Vogel, um, who had been working at Centrifuge. He's the vice president of talent initiatives. And what Jordan's going to do is work with all employers in the region who are trying to crack the talent code. How do we attract? How do we retain? How do we grow this region's talent base in a way that makes this region thrive? Drive. Is that kind of all levels? Is that like young professionals all the way up? Or is there more of, going to be more of a focus just on that young you professional? Know, it is all across. Um, we like to think of talent as the young professional who might move here from Chicago because they found an incredible apartment in downtown Cincinnati and it's a, a cool place to live and less expensive than Chicago. Yeah to a commercial truck driver who wants to get a job at, say, the Castellini companies um, and uh, have a great career there as well. So it's about cracking great. the talent code for each individual company in a way that makes sense for them. All right, one more. I know we we're not, don't have a lot of time left, but let's talk about your transportation. You know, what, what's what's new on the horizon there? Well, someday there's going to be a bridge. Uh, <laughs> we have to fix the Brent Spence Absolutely. Bridge, and we have to replace the Brent Spence Bridge. So we're working really closely with our, our friends in northern Kentucky on that. Um, we have a new governor in Kentucky who's taking a look at it. Um, and we're studying that. But transportation is a much bigger question for us. It's about big picture infrastructure, it's about transit, it's about little infrastructure projects throughout the region, and it's all in service of how do we connect people to jobs, because yeah. that's what employers need. They need their talent to be able to get to where they are. So it is, it is all connected. It's that's all connected. Sure. Well, you know, I, uh, I love working with the chamber. I think, you know, as I said at the start of the interview, a lot of changes. Jill Meyer, you know, on board there right before you. And I guess she's getting close to her year. She's getting close to a year. Jill redesigned the strategic plan. Um, she is a, we, she's just a terrific person to work with. She has a, a true vision for the region, um, and we're doing great things. I, I, I keep telling people, like it's a great time to be in Cincinnati, it's really a great yeah. time to be at the chamber. Well, I just watched, uh, you know, watched Jill lead Arts Wave, and it's just amazing to see how much she cares about this community, you know, with her law background and the community, you know, compassion that she has. I Absolutely. Um, her and her, her and Awadajan, her husband, um, sold Arts Wave to this community in new ways. They reached 
a, a new highest yeah. goal ever. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of people don't understand that that Arts Wave is such a important gem in Cincinnati. Oh, there is no other fund like it in the country. Um, and it, it's really one of the things that sets Cincinnati apart. Oh, great. Well, listen, thanks for coming in today. Keep working on that talent because I need a way to get my three kids back to Cincinnati. They will come back soon. That's great. <laughs> All right. Thanks for thanks, being here Jeremy. today. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.